scientists unlock oldest human DNA. The results are terrifyingly surprising. Imagine holding a bone in your hands. Not a fossil cast, not a reconstruction, the actual remains of a person who lived 45,000 years ago. Now imagine that trapped inside that bone is their entire genetic code, their DNA, the biological blueprint of who they were, where they came from, and who they met. That's no longer science fiction. In laboratories across Europe, scientists have done exactly that. And what they discovered inside those ancient genomes has forced us to rewrite human history. Because these remains don't just tell us about the past, they reveal a terrifying truth about extinction, loss, and the fragility of our own species. A truth that changes everything we thought we knew about the first humans to set foot on our continent. For decades, one question haunted archaeologists. When did humans first arrive in Europe? Who were they? What happened to them? The answers seemed locked away forever. DNA from ancient remains was supposed to be impossible to recover, shattered into microscopic fragments, contaminated by thousands of years of decay. But then everything changed, and the story begins not with a dramatic excavation, but with a skull that had been sitting in a museum collection for 70 years, waiting to reveal its secrets. In 1950, in a cave called Zlaty Kun in what is now Czechia, excavators discovered something remarkable, the nearly intact skull of a young woman, fractured in places, but preserved well enough to turn heads. For generations, it sat in storage, studied for its shape and structure, but silent about its deeper genetic secrets. No one imagined the technology would ever exist to unlock the DNA still clinging to her bones. Then, between 2002 and the following years, archaeologists made more discoveries. Jawbones and teeth emerged from sites in Germany, from caves in Siberia. Each bone fragment represented a potential window into the deep past. These weren't isolated finds. They were pieces of a much larger puzzle waiting to be solved. But the real breakthrough required a completely new kind of science. Paleogenomics, the art of reading DNA from ancient remains. The process is painstaking. Ancient DNA isn't like samples in a modern lab. It's shattered into fragments the size of grains of sand, riddled with contamination, degraded by millennia. The DNA is there, but reading it requires reinventing the technology to piece together genomes one microscopic fragment at a time. Archaeological evidence had long puzzled researchers. At sites in Germany and Czechia, scientists found distinctive stone tools belonging to a culture called the Lincombian Renisian. These tools appeared around 45,000 years ago. The question that had nagged researchers for decades was simple but crucial. Who made these tools? Were they crafted by Neanderthals, the established inhabitants of Europe? Or were they created by the newly arrived modern humans? The answer seemed trapped in the past, inaccessible. For years, that mystery remained unsolved. Teams at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany, took on this impossible task. They drilled carefully into the densest parts of teeth, nature's time capsules, sealed against decay. What they found inside stunned even the most cautious scientists. They recovered not fragments, not partial sequences, but complete, readable genomes. Full genetic blueprints of people who had lived 45,000 years ago. The DNA analysis revealed something extraordinary. The remains from these sites belonged to modern humans, Homo sapiens, and they carried genetic relationships that connected them across vast distances. The young woman from Zlaty Kun, whose skull had waited 70 years, was genetically related to individuals found hundreds of kilometers away in Germany. They were part of the same extended family, the same group, the same culture. This was the smoking gun. These early Europeans were associated with those distinctive tools. They were the Lincombian Renesian people, a small population of pioneers who arrived in Europe around 45,000 to 49,000 years ago. But the real shock was what their DNA contained. These ancient humans carried far more Neanderthal DNA than any person alive today. We modern humans carry roughly 1 to 4%. But these early pioneers, their genomes were packed with long, unbroken stretches of Neanderthal ancestry. That length is crucial. In genetics, DNA segments work like a clock. The longer the segment, the more recent the intermixture. These individuals lived just a few hundred generations after modern humans and Neanderthals had interbred. We're looking almost directly at the aftermath of that encounter. Not a distant echo, but the first ripples of a genetic event that would shape humanity forever. The researchers used radiocarbon dating combined with genetic analysis to pinpoint the moment of contact. 
Around 45,000 to 49,000 years ago, a single shared admixture event occurred, a moment when two species met, mingled, and left behind genetic traces that would persist in billions of people for tens of thousands of years. But then comes the twist that changes everything. These early Europeans, these pioneers who had survived the Ice Age, navigated competition with Neanderthals, spread across vast frozen landscapes, they left no direct descendants. Their genetic line vanished. The DNA shows they were replaced by later waves of migration. Different peoples arrived after them. Those later groups survived, thrived, became our ancestors. But this first wave, these people who had conquered a continent, who carried the fresh imprint of meeting another human species, gone. Think about that for a moment. An entire population, an entire story, lost to time. These were not mythological figures. These were real people with real relationships, mothers and daughters, families scattered across Ice Age Europe. Small bands, probably numbering only in the hundreds, surviving against impossible odds. They did it. They survived. They adapted. They prospered. And then they simply disappeared from the genetic record. This discovery shatters the old assumption that the first humans to reach Europe directly gave rise to all later populations. Instead, we now understand that human history was far more complex. Waves of migration replaced each other. Some peoples vanished entirely. The story of our ancestry is not a simple line passing from one generation to the next. It's far messier, far more tragic, far more fascinating, which raises a haunting question. How many other peoples have vanished the same way? How many other stories of human survival, human achievement, human loss have been erased? We only know about these early Europeans because paleogenomics was finally advanced enough to read their DNA. How many populations preceded them whose remains we haven't found? How many waves of migration, extinction, and replacement have shaped our history in ways we'll never know? The data suggests the story of humanity in Europe was never a single migration. It was many waves, some vanished, others endured, peoples joined together, peoples split apart, some lineages dried out completely while others carried forward. Our genetic heritage is not a straight line. It's a braided river with streams joining and splitting, flowing through tens of thousands of years, with stories constantly being written and erased. And this is just one piece of the puzzle. As technology advances, as more archaeological sites are excavated, we're discovering that human history is far stranger, far more complex, and far more fragile than we ever imagined. The story of how we came to be is one of mystery upon mystery. Lost peoples, forgotten encounters, genetic ghosts still living inside us, traces of ancestors we'll never meet, but whose struggles shaped our existence. If you want to explore more of these mysteries, if you want to uncover the hidden stories that DNA is revealing about where we came from and who we are, subscribe to History Diary. We're uncovering the secrets written in our very cells, one discovery at a time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to History Diary for more untold stories from our past. See you in the next one.